Hi, this is Mr. Nazarian. Today's uh, lesson is learning objective is I can solve word problems where I need to divide whole numbers lead into answers that are fractions or mixed numbers. Fifth grade standard NF3. And today we're going to be looking uh, at uh, dividing whole numbers where the answer is a mixed number. Let's take a look. So our story problem today, Angelo, Corbin, and Drew wanted to create clay sculptures. There are seven pounds of clay for the three boys to share equally. How much clay will each boy have to work with? So, um, of course, working with the story problems, the very first thing we want to do is what is the question? What is it that we want to solve? And the question is how much clay will each boy have? Um, then we want to say, okay, well, what's the important information to solve this uh, problem, to answer this question of how much each boy will have? We know that there are seven pounds of clay total. And we know that um, the three boys want to share it equally. There's three boys. Um, so that tells us that we're taking something, we're sharing it out equally. That's a good clue that this is going to be a division problem. And um, as a division problem, I know there's going to be a dividend and a divisor. Um, so the dividend is the total amount that we have to begin with, and in this case that's going to be the seven pounds. And then we're dividing it up equally by the divisor, which is going to be the three boys. So this is what it looks like as a math expression. We have our seven pounds of clay. We share it equally. We divide it. In by with uh, three boys, so it's going to be 7 divided by 3 equals, and that's what's going to answer this question of how much each boy will have, is our quotient here. So let's take a look at what this might look like visually. It's a diagram. I have created seven uh, boxes here that each of these boxes is going to represent one pound of clay. And I know from the story problem that I want to take this seven pounds of clay and I want to share it equally among the three boys. So I'm going to uh, take this one pound of clay and I'm going to share it into three equal parts. I'm going to do the same thing with this pound of clay. And I'm going to do it, obviously, with each of these pounds of clay. I'm just going to keep dividing them up equally which is clear enough that each one, if we divide them into three equal parts, each boy will get the same amount for each pound. Now, um, let's do red. Um, so for this pound here, let's say that this red is going to represent Angelo's. And so again, the same thing for this pound. Angelo gets one third, right? It's one out of the three equal parts of each of these pounds of clay. So, and I'm going to do this kind of messy so I can be faster about it. Okay. So, on each of these pounds of clay, Angela's going to get one out of the three parts, and that obviously will be make it fair, right? Drew and uh, Corbin should be okay with that. Then let's have Corbin. It can be green here. So Corbin's going to get one out of these three parts, one out of these three parts, and so on, as we look at each of those pounds of clay. And just imagine that maybe they have uh, separate packages of clay, and each package is one pound. So as they get those packages of clay out, they break it up three parts, and Angela says, I got this part. Corbin says, I got this part. And um, Drew, is gonna, we'll have him be blue, he's going to have one part as well. So they each have one out of the three parts here. Ooh, that was crazy. All right, um, almost done here. So as you can see, all of the red parts represent Angelo's share of each of those pounds. All the green represent Corbin's, and all the blue represent Drew. So now, um, remember the question is, how much clay will each boy have of the entire seven pounds? So we know that Angela gets one third out of this pound, but there's all these other pounds here. So we're going to say, okay, so Angela has one third here, and then one third here, and so if I'm adding these up, I know I've got one third, two thirds, three thirds, 
four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds. So Angelo gets seven thirds. And we know that because we divide them equally, that means Corbin will get seven thirds and Drew will get seven thirds as well. So um, each boy will get seven thirds. But I want to simplify this. So um, that means that it's because this is an improper fraction, that means I want to create a, um, a mixed number. So seven thirds is going to be, means, well, let's see here, three thirds is one whole, and another three thirds, that would be six thirds, right? Three plus three is six, and then there's seven here, so I'm just one, we only need to have one more third here, right? So seven thirds is the same thing, it's equal to three thirds plus three thirds plus one third, because three plus three plus one is seven. And each of these three thirds, remember when your numerator and denominator are the same, that means it's equal to one whole. So we've got one plus one plus, and one third is obviously going to equal, one plus one is two, and one third. So two and one third. And real quick, I just want to show you, if we think of this, um, the same problem, as a um, as using the division algorithm instead of um, showing it as a diagram, which this is very helpful, and a lot of times you'll be expected to show this in your work. But if we're using it as an algorithm, what we're doing is remember the dividend of seven. We have that seven pounds, and we're dividing it by the divider, the equal parts of three. So think of how many time, how many groups, or how many multiples of three go into seven. So. Well, let me see, three, six, nine, oh, so not three times, but two times, right? Would give us two times three is six, right? And there'd be one left. So the multiple, the two, right? That's gonna be our whole number. And then your remainder here is gonna be the, di the um, numerator. For your remainder, we're gonna write this, this remainder as a fraction now. So the, the um, rem the remainder here is going to be your numerator, and your divisor is always going to be your denominator. So, two and one third, same answer as this, right? So, to wrap it up, we've got seven divided by three equals two and one third each. That's how much, how many pounds um, each boy will get of clay for their sculpture projects. Okay, all right, and look forward to working on this in class. Thanks.